she is really one of the most giving, philanthropic people that I have ever met. Integrity, she lives up to her values, and generosity speaks for itself. She was my first teacher of authenticity, what it meant to be authentic and how we can be in the world as our authentic selves as long as we're full of the power of conviction. I was considered by some a tire kicker, which is a, a polite term. She doesn't suffer fools gladly. Racky Newman is not status quo. Sometimes you're out on a limb when you state your opinion firmly and it is not the consensus opinion, just who I am. Anyone who meets her knows that they are meeting with a force of nature. I always had a keen sense of social justice, and so did my husband. And uh, we were very involved in the civil rights movement. When I was newly married, I asked to serve on a board, uh, an outreach unit for the YMCA. And I was 21 years old. I never served on a board. I didn't even know what you do on a board, but I dutifully went to the meetings, and that's how I got my feet wet in volunteering. Over the years, our paths crossed more and more, and we became more and be better friends and found out we enjoyed being with each other and had a lot of, of uh, opinions in common. We both wanted to fix the world. <laughs> And if you look at the world today, you see we haven't done a very good job, but we keep trying. She's been a leader in so many, countless agencies throughout the, the Bay Area community in particular. And Racky is, is enthused about impact of philanthropy. I was on the board at the time. I started talking to her about the Hebrew Free Loan Association. Of course, he told me more about what was going on currently and how, how effective it was and how good it felt to help people. And of course, I was attracted to it. If you look around San Francisco, you can see the mark of her philanthropy very prominently displayed. She's somebody who, um, who comes with a set of principles that she's not going to back down from. But if she supports you and she sees that what you're doing is really, um, is really meaningful work, she'll want to be a part of it and want to support it. Well, I didn't know her very well when my husband was dying, which is more, more about 23 years ago now. We knew each other, but I wouldn't say we, we were very close. But she was there if I need her. I know I can call on her, and hopefully that, that won't happen, but it's very comforting to know I have a friend. This one was born with an extra canister of humanity. 